Hello, I'm Miranda Brooks, and I'm going to take you through one of my oldest gardens. You coming? <laughs> Anne always said, yes, we could photograph the garden one day, but it never felt ready somehow. It always felt like next year is going to be better, and then next year is going to be better, and suddenly it's been 20 years, and I just thought, we better just do it. <laughs> but there's always this feeling of it's an you know, evolving thing. The whole of the place is conceived as very relaxed. It appears very natural, it appears fairly effortless. It's not at all. There's a combination of wanting order, so the architectural side of it, it is actually all very planned and every view has been thought about. But I want it to feel loose and I don't want it to have any rigidity to it. So maybe that's where our two personalities meet. I grew up on a small farm in Hertfordshire. It was very wild and cow plastly and fields. And just as you come in, I feel this sense of everything goes down a scale and it's just a track. It gives me you know, the memory of what it felt like arriving home. So yes, I think the whole thing is a slight exercise in um, homesickness. <laughs> These box do make me feel quite old. I was like, why they were like that? And now look at them. I mean, another tennis ball. Guts. Just never, ever stop. And if it's not just the main, you know, just the looking after it, it's the, you know, every year there's a new infestation of something, or the weather's terrible. It's a very um, sort of optimistic undertaking. That's better, except the table looks awful. Oh, we're good. There you go, immaculate. At this point in the garden's life, you know, it's an adult, it's 20, it's got its own personality, so it sort of tells you, you know what's right for here.